what are you doing? What do you mean? We gotta go pick up some parts at UPS. Just got delivered. But we gotta show the new wheels. I've been promising for like four videos that the wheels are gonna be shown for the bullet. We can't do that. We got, the parts just got delivered for the Cobra. We gotta go right now. So we're not gonna show the wheels right now? We can't do it right now. We gotta wait. We gotta go. All right, I guess we gotta go. We'll have to come back. All right, let's go. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're headed right now to go pick up some parts for the 98 Cobra as well as we're gonna make a quick stop to Home Depot and return some parts that we have right there. Uh, they were just some stuff for the garage since we're kind of working on it and cleaning it up a little bit. Um, you probably already noticed by now that the far wall has been painted dark gray. So it looks really cool. And as far as the new wheels go, they are sitting in the garage. They're still in the box. They're ready to be pulled out. So once we run these errands and get back home, we will pull the wheels out of the boxes, show you guys what they are. Um, they're really, really cool wheels and hopefully we'll be back home soon. All right, we finally made it back home. And as promised, I wanted to show you guys the garage progress that we are doing. So as you can see, this whole wall right there is now painted dark gray. Uh, it was white before and there was a big shelf sitting right here. So the whole shelf is gone. Uh, all the stuff that was on the shelf is now put into bins like these. And yeah, the wall is painted. And as far as the uh, parts go that we got for the 98 Cobra, I probably won't show uh, what we got today. I mean, it wasn't anything special. I basically ended up just getting like some new hood latches for the car, as well as the plastic piece that sits underneath the hood. There were some holes that were screwed into it. And so I just got a new one just to have it. The car also needs an antenna. It might need a new fender on this side. I'm not too sure. There's kind of some weird dings in it and whatnot, but I ended up just getting a new fender for this side as well, uh, just in case it can't be fixed. Yeah, so basically that's what I got for the car today. So I don't remember if I mentioned it or not before in the video, but these wheels that I bought, I ended up buying them off of eBay and I actually wasn't even going to buy them because of the fact that they were on eBay and I would have had, and I had to pay for basically like, I think it was almost $200 worth of shipping. But I ended up just jumping on the opportunity to get them because a couple of weeks prior to getting these wheels, I had seen a Facebook marketplace uh, listing for some wheels exactly like these ones, and they were already on an 0304 Cobra. And it was really unfortunate because the guy had literally posted it on marketplace for like 20 minutes, I think. I ended up messaging him, hey, do you still have those wheels? And he said, uh, you know, no, I have a payment pending or I have a you know, a pending buyer, whatever. And then I ended up sending some photos of these wheels and I was like, well, man, you know, I didn't even think about it, but would you be wanting to trade for these wheels that I have? And it was super saddening because he said, man, if you would have let me know, you know, at first that you'd be willing to trade me for your set of wheels, I would have done it. I was like, wow, that's just crazy to think that I could have, I could have traded these wheels with the tires and had a set of the wheels that I have for no extra cost and the wheels that that guy had already had tires on them and they were already fitted for, you know, a 99 to 04 Mustang. Kind of unfortunate, but everything happens for a reason. I think that there actually might have been a slight issue with the wheels if I can remember correctly. I think he had said that they were fitted onto a Subaru and so the lug pattern was just a little bit different wheels had been shaved out just a little bit to fit onto the new edge lug pattern. So who knows if those wheels would have had an issue or not, but the wheels that I got, the lug pattern is the five by 114.3, if I remember correctly, that's exactly what the new edge Mustangs have. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and rip open the boxes and show you guys what wheels I got. So 
So these wheels have been sitting in this garage in the boxes for at least a month. And so this is the first time that I've like pulled them out, finally showed them onto camera. As you can see, I haven't even cleaned them or anything. They're super, super dirty. The back is not even anywhere close to having a polished look. And tires are still on the wheels. Got to get those off pretty soon. But without further ado, here's the new wheel setup. Bam. Look at that. We got CCWs for the 01 Bullet. Now, for anybody that knows, these obviously are not the CCW Classics, but they're pretty damn close. So these are the CCW LM20s, and the face design is pretty similar to the Classics. The only thing is that the face, instead of the Classics where it concaves inward towards the hub, these kind of go outward the other way. Um, but they still look really, really good. They're more similar to those wheels than the Classics, in my opinion. And for anybody wondering, these wheels are not ready to be put onto the car just yet. Uh, obviously the tire size is not even anywhere close to being what it needs to be for this car. So these are a 245-40 on all four wheels. They're pretty stretched out, as you can see. I'm pretty sure that these were ran on like a tuner car, but I am definitely not planning on running 245s on the Bullet. Right now it has a 315 in the back and has a 275 in the front. So a 245 all around would look ridiculous. It would look so stupid. Um, you know, in the, in the front, it wouldn't look bad. And if it was bagged, you know, that might be a pretty good wheel setup to get a good wire tuck. But I am not gonna run those tires at all. And another thing is that all of these wheels are a nine and a half wide. So, I need to take the tires off the wheels and I need to measure what size barrel and what size lip these wheels have because they're gonna sit inside the fender on the back a pretty good amount. So I need to go ahead and get the tires off, measure the barrel and lip, and then I can figure out what size lip I need to go ahead and get for the rear. So that way it's a wider wheel and it looks better on the car, looks better with the 315 tire that's going to go on the wheel. Another slight issue that I don't think it'll be a huge problem, but I was told on the eBay posting that these were all plus 30 offset wheels. But after looking at it, you can see this hub, you know, is more pushed in than this one. As you can see, like the secondary hole is like almost an inch deep on this one. And on this one, it's like a quarter to half an inch. So I'm pretty sure that this one is a plus 30 offset and this one is like a plus 40 or something like that. So what I'm probably gonna do is run the plus 30 on the front, might have to run a small spacer just to clear the brake caliper. And then for the back, I will either get a half inch bigger lip with a half inch spacer, or I will end up getting a full inch thicker lip, which I don't necessarily want to do just because this lip size is already kind of, you know, deep, but obviously it's not as deep as like other CCWs that I see on New Edge Mustangs. And I've seen some really, really deep lips when it comes to these cars. So I'm not going to test with the wheels onto the bullet just yet because I want to get the tires off the wheel before I do so. That way I can get a good measurement of exactly what lip and wheel spacer that I'll need for the car. And I don't think it'll look very good with the 245s put onto the car. So once the tires are off, I'll test with the wheels under the car and we can get the measurements and sizes all sorted out. So since I'm not gonna test with the wheels under the car just yet, I was really, really curious to see, you know, what these wheels might look like on the 98 Cobra. So I'm gonna roll this over here and I am just really, really curious to see what these would look like on the Red Cobra. Damn. <laughs> that actually would look really good. Holy crap, that might look better on that car than on the Bullet. Wow. Dang. <laughs> that looks so good.
They just look too good on the red paint. I know that they'll pop pretty good on the black paint for sure, but I don't know. There's something about a polished wheel setup and a red car. That's a good look. So there's the new wheels, guys. I'm so, so happy to finally show these wheels on the YouTube channel because they have been sitting here for so long and I didn't think I'd ever get around to showing them. So I'm so happy that I finally did. And I'm really, really excited to get them put onto the car. And it's funny because, you know, I bought these wheels before I ended up getting the 98 Cobra. And so now I may put them on this car first. I don't know. They look really, really good sitting next to the car, as you guys just saw. But obviously I got them for this car. I think it'd be pretty cool to put those onto this car just for a little while. So drop a comment down below. I'm curious what you guys think of the new wheels. Do you think they're gonna look good on the bullet? Or would you rather have seen a like a five spoke setup or a bullet setup on the bullet? I'm curious to know, but either way, these are staying and they are gonna look absolutely awesome on this car so thank you guys for watching in the next video i guarantee you the garage will be done that bench will be right there on the wall and we will have so much space in here to work on this car whenever we get the motor out and get the motor run running well um, this car will be coming back in here and we'll be able to do some stuff to it here at the house so thank you guys for watching see you on the next episode